I'm going to show you how I'm going to see what video I need for my Healy. Okay, so I'm going to go to the resonance and hit an analysis. Good. And then these are all, these are the names. So I'm going to hit my name. Good. Then I'm going to continue on with what section I want to test myself. I just did Bach flowers. I'm going to do Materia Medica, and that's going to show all of the Materia Medica, the homeopathics that my body needs. So I do an imprint with my thumb, always cleaning the glass. It reads my biopedance, my frequency. It tells me what my energy needs for the moment. Then it's complete right there. Then this is telling me the action I need to take. That's everything that came up. So I'm going to hit action. I'm going to hit vibrate. Good. And then it's going to show everything I need. I'm going to hold the Healy in my hand like this. And then it's going to show all the homeopathics that my body needs at this moment. And this is so powerful because we're talking about the frequency. The frequency of this homeopathic that my body is in lack of that is helping me to rebalance energetically, physically, spiritually, emotionally. This is truly, truly, and this session is one minute. One minute, exactly. So you can see it's reading my frequencies. And then when it's done reading, and it goes through each one of the homeopathics. I mean, this is truly unbelievable. I do this every day. This is the first time I did the Materia Medica. Um, I do a lot of the deeper ones. Um, and then I go into the uh, deeper programs for an hour. I'll be showing how to do that a little bit later in the week as things go flying. I'm going to be doing this aura balancing, which I'll show either later today or tomorrow uh, for our Halloween party. And there it is. Hi everyone, I'm Janelle Kamaya of Higher Love Sanctuary. I'm here today at the Hall Halloween Mystic Bazaar and I'm going to be doing individualized private alchemy sound healing. So this is my setup here. I have my metal xylophone and I have my chakra court singing bowl set. I also have my Celtic heart. And I have some clearing and sound smudging instruments. Um, so I'm ready to get started and transmute and alchemize all discordant negative energies and restore balance to all the chakras. Thank you. Thank you here with the Violet Shaman and she's doing a little bit of a clearing. She will explain after she finishes her process. It's beautiful, amazing, healing. So can you tell us what you were just doing briefly? Um, uh, hello everybody, thank you for being here with us today. Um, I was just very um, quickly doing a uh, spiritual cleansing using sacred smoke. Today I'm using sage and it's, it's a popular one and as you guys know it's, it's 
for cleansing and purifying but not only that it helps enhance wisdom clarity and it also aids against uh, it aids in protection and, and things like that and it, it's also used to open sacred space thank you hello 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 with amber from the covet la what do you got for us today hi i wanted to uh show two of my favorite products i have um my ultimate favorite product which is a spell jar it's a crystal and spell jar um it's been cleansed i palo santo them i sage them um, they basically have every ingredient to bring a particular spell, something that uh, you're manifesting, something that you have put into the universe as an intention. This is a love spell jar, so it has every ingredient you need. And they're completely handmade. Everything is organic. Everything is ethically sourced. There's no chemicals, no toxic So chemicals. beautiful. So and, beautiful. And then I have my love intention candle. And this is an awesome time to be doing intention candles since it's a new moon. Or new moon. Uh, the full moon, sorry. Full moon in Taurus, which brings abundance. And it's in Venus. So that's about love and, you know, the divine feminine. So I think this is a really awesome candle for this season. It's pink, it brings love, it brings uh, self-love, romantic love, platonic love, whatever your intention may be in relation to love, that's where your manifestation will go. Beautiful. And are you gonna pull a card for us? Yeah, absolutely. So let me get the intention, the card of the day. So may I have the card of the day, please, a collective energy for today. talks about ending a battle so we've been through a lot it's almost the end of 2020 so this is the nine of wands this is about the the, the time after the battle and then this is about growth the three of wands talks about expanding exp seeing the horizon he's looking over he's thinking about his next step his next move which is which is really relative to what we're going right now with the end of the year everything that we've all been going through collectively um and uh, you know, this is time to grow, this is time to reassess, this is Scorpio season, this is time to transform, shed old skin, and go into 2021 uh, brand new person. Thank you, thank you, thank yeah. you. Bye. I'm here with Cicada, and we are at the uh, Halloween Mystic Healing Bazaar. She's gonna talk to you about her amazing Chokeray rocks that she made. So, you wanna sh tell us about them? Hi, yes, um, so these are, um, they can be used for as meditation stones, um, they can be used as direct uh, self-healing stones. So what I did is I created these, they're handmade, they're blessed, um, they've been saged, I've chanted over them, they're just, they're filled with love. So we have the, the Shoku Ray in the uh, clockwise position. And uh, this is the, the traditional form of the shokure. And with that, the, it's, uh, in its clockwise position, what it's doing is it's sending focused energy. Um, so it's pushing energy towards something or um, directing energy to it. Um, the shokure is a very grounding uh, earth energy. And then in the clockwise position, You'll see it. Um, it has the opposite effect, so it's clockwise or counterclockwise. Sorry, is meant to pull energy away. So oftentimes a practitioner may use that um, if they're noticing that there's um, stagnation or something that's out of balance to pull that energy away. So I have these two stones together, and you've got the um, the yin and the yang energy corresponding. So black stone, uh, white stone. And then you get a little info sheet that comes with it. And then they come in a bag. So you have either your natural bag or if you wanna get a little more sophisticated, your book bag. Oh my God, they're so cute. I'm gonna have to get one for me. Thank you, Segata. You're welcome.